So what I think is going on with DWAC, because I'm reading a lot of comments. Listen, I'm very positive. And I'll explain to you why. I, if I if I sound redundant, I apologize. But a lot of things just bear repeating. But what, what I think is going on is this, okay? As we know, Donald Trump has that gigantic civil trial, 455, you know, a gigantic fine. And in order for him to appeal that, he has to post a bond. Um, we know that he went to uh, the Chubb insurance company and they were able to post the $91 million bond for the E. Jean Carroll case. But unfortunately, he's not having that same luck to post the 455. Well, it's going to probably be upwards close to $500 because it's always like 110% uh, that you have to post a bond. But he's having trouble with that. I guess Chubb doesn't want to help him out. They helped him out with $91 million, but they don't want to help him out with the rest, okay? So we're going to talk about the good news and the bad news. We're going to talk about everything. What's the good news? Let's focus on positive, right? Let's be positive, okay? We know that Trump has 79 billion shares of DWOC, okay? We know that the 22nd is around the corner. It's coming right up. We know that it seems very highly likely that the merger is going to go through because all the, lit the litigation that was going on, everyone's kind of calm, everyone's relaxed, Everyone made like a peace treaty. No one is stopping the uh, the merger. If that goes uh, through, which I feel it will, Trump will have stock that is valued at $4 billion. I just want to repeat that. Around like 3 to $4 billion in that range. Just, let's call it closer to $4 billion. It, it's all good at that point. You know what they say? It's all good. You know, like New York Angelo. Da, it's all good. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. So... And all of this is is moments away. I mean, today is March 19th. 22nd is not so far from now, okay? So let's focus on the positives and not so much the negatives. Wall Street is very temperamental. You know, all the littlest tiny nuances of, of negativities, like Trump did not secure the bond for $455 million, is going to play a short-term effect. I've always said it. DWOC is the day trader's dream play. Dream play because ultimately... Once uh, the merger goes through, you're going to see this thing shoot to the friggin' high heavens. It's going to go high, high, high above you. It's so lovely. And it's right around the corner. It's right around the corner. All these great things. So, a father, his convictions are high. His confidence is high. My waistline is high. <laughs> Everything is high with me, baby. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.